Here is the Yoda Master Y3000. This is not the first Yoda Master product I've reviewed. I've reviewed several of their docks, and I've reviewed a couple of their NVMEs. This one here was sent over to me by Yoda Master to review. Looks like the specs here are telling us that it is an SL SLC cache. Uh, various different sizes here, and they are very budget friendly. You can see here and so let's just jump right into the review here we'll do a full test see how it is this is a gen 3 drive but that doesn't mean it's bad i mean i often use gen 3 drives for a lot of things they're also much more efficient for laptop use rather than a lot of gen 4 drives so let's jump in and we will test it out so we're going to put it inside the asus tough here i don't remember the model but it's an asus tough whatever and we're going to put it here so Go like that there. While I'm at it, I'm actually going to upgrade some other stuff on this laptop, such as RAM, but that's irrelevant. So uh, let's put the laptop back together and get it tested. Let's get the test started. So we have drive, which one? E. We have that there, E. So we'll start with it empty. For some reason, that's being dumb. We'll start with it empty. Then we will check the speeds. We'll check the temperatures. And then we will do uh, basically some moves. We'll check how well the writes are. If it drops off, that would indicate like a bad cache, for example. And then we will have it relatively full and then run the tests one more time. 3,500, I mean, it's a spoiler, spoiler alert, it's gonna be fast. Uh, temperatures we'll just monitor there. For some reason, the second drive temperature is always wrong. I don't know, it's weird. I've been noticing that a lot because um, we can come over here, we can go edit and refresh and you can see it's 50. So I don't know what that one is, but just ignore that, I guess. Some weird sensor thing. I've been noticing that on like various SSDs. So as long as it doesn't go over uh, probably 70, I wouldn't want really to see much over 70 or 75. I don't expect it to run hot because it's a Gen 3 drive. Like, like I said in the intro, one of the advantages of Gen 3, they run cooler versus you know Gen 4 running hot, Gen 5 running incredibly hot. So if you're putting them in something like a laptop that's going to have limited cooling, like there's not air necessarily running over the NVMe, uh, you might get actual you might actually get drive throttling, and of course then if you put it in a desktop, I mean you might have more airflow. But laptops like this potentially get throttling. Handhelds as well. A lot of these handhelds, I mean, you're very restricted in terms of size. And yes, some handhelds do take two two eight zero. The one that I have does. Okay, we're back. So uh, scores are as expected. Thirty five hundred writes. 2400 re uh, 3, reads, 2400 writes, whatever, it's pretty normal. On uh, Crystal Disk Mark. And then on Addo over here, basically kind of the same. It's a little bit slower, but whatever, it's around the same. So Gen 3 drive speeds, totally as expected. And uh, temperatures here, I don't know what that's about that one. It's weird, but they, we peaked at 67, so totally fine, totally acceptable, not getting hot despite the fact that it did two back-to-back -back immediate benchmarks inside of a laptop with no heatsink. So obviously if you put it inside a system, like a desktop, uh, with a, the included heatsink or an OEM motherboard heatsink or no heatsink because there's airflow, it'll run cooler. It's just this is a laptop. There's nowhere for it to go. And by the way, it's also sitting down, so it is what it is. Worst case scenario, it's not getting throttling. I'll put it that way. Totally fine. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just start moving data over to it. So I put a bunch of data onto this laptop, onto the internal, on the primary operating system, and we'll just start to move data. And basically what I want to see here is what the, I would say, what the, how long before the cache runs out. So if the cache runs out right away, it's going to be a problem. Uh, and then we're going to know that maybe it's not the greatest drive for writes, but we'll just kind of see here. So we'll go like that. Check it out. And we're not going to get 3,500 writes or 2,500 writes, but that's really fast, actually. So we'll see how long it can maintain that. If it comes and then it tanks down like that, that's roughly where the cache will run out. I'm putting in, I don't remember how much that was, 300 gigabytes or something, roughly. So a lot. Uh... Yeah, it's already exceeding some drives. Some drives would have already dropped down, but we'll see. If it can write all the way through 300 gigabytes, I'm going to be exceptionally happy with the drive uh, right off the bat, because that's not common. Normally, they don't have good cache, and they start to tank after about 100 gigabytes. They'll start to really tank. Some drives can do a couple hundred. It depends how expensive they are um, and how they're designed. But uh, yeah, if we can write 300 gigabytes, that's going to be fantastic. That's <laughs> immediately going to be a strong recommend. We'll see. Oh, 
Okay, we'll come back. It's a minute and a half. All right. Okay, so it looks like the drive is actually going to be fantastic. The synthetic benchmarks came back very strong. And our writes here, I mean, I'm writing basically 300 gigabytes straight through, which is very uncommon. A lot of times, you know, you can get high, like pretty expensive drives, and they'll write the cache and it'll just go. Uh, the crucial P3 and P3 Plus come to mind where it's, oh, they're finally a drop down. Uh, it'll drop down to this right away. Um, so we got about 280 gigs of write at full, like basically full speed which is fantastic. I mean, there's no game that I know of that exists that's that large. So you could do massive game file movement from one drive to another. Uh, video files, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of drive. Um, so that's where we're running out of cache. But I just want to make sure one more thing. So what I'm going to do just to be sure is I'm going to close that because it might not actually be cached. So we'll go like that. Come like that. And I'm just going to copy and paste it. It might have just been some small files. Let's see. No, so that's where the cache runs out. Okay, so it's still going to write. Like, it's not like it's going to shut off, but that's where the cache is. So it was about 300 gigabytes of cache for a one terabyte drive. Uh, that's fine. So, I mean, you're going to be able to basically fill up one third of the drive immediately in a single go. I'm fine with that. Honestly, I'm fine with that. It's a lot of drives. You're going to run like 100 to 200 for a low cost drive like this. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, temperatures here didn't really make any difference. Actually, didn't make any difference at all. So, yeah, it's going to be fine. So let's. Uh, I'm just going to take a pause, fill it up, come back, and then we'll write, do the synthetics with it full. Okay, so those are the results there. I fill. So I filled the drive right up to about 95%. It's just completely bursting red full, and you can see here the reads maintained. Pretty good reads, honestly. You are losing some speed, but it's still at 17,000, which is going to be very fast. Still three to three and a half times faster than a normal SATA drive. So very good. Perfect for gaming. You're not going to notice any difference in load times, honestly. Uh, writes are obviously very slow. There's not really any more room to write onto it. Uh, so it's going to be very slow. So seems like a good drive in terms of... So my conclusions. Uh, it writes are very good. So my conclusions. The synthetics come out normal when it's empty. Uh, the actual writing, when you're writing to it, doesn't get hot at all. Honestly, not at all. So fantastic for laptops, handhelds, thinner devices that you need to keep temperatures down. And then, of course, when you're doing, then when you're doing the writes themselves, uh, you get a nice long cache. 